This is the main event. 15 rounds or less. For the world's middleweight championship from Canastota and Chittenango, New York. Wearing black trunks, weighing 156 and one half pounds, the former welterweight and middleweight champion of the world, the challenger tonight, Carmen Basilio. And from West Jordan, Utah, wearing white trunks with black stripes, weighing 159 and one quarter pounds, the world's middleweight champion of the world, Gene Palmer. Okay, both been instructed by the Utah Boxing Commission on the rules of this fight. I want a good, clean fight. And uh, in case any knockdowns, I want you to go to neutral corner. When I say break, I want you, I want you to break. And I want you to watch low blows, kidney punches, rabbit punches. And let's watch the headbutt, too. And the uh, mandatory eight count is waived, so any questions? Good luck to you both. Shake hands now and come out fighting. You're looking into the corner now of Carmen Basilio. There he is on the right-hand side. In his corner with him tonight, Angelo Dundee, famed fight trainer, and his stablemate heavyweight, Mike DeJohn. Round number one, 15 rounds scheduled. Basilio on the black trunks. The champion is Gene Fulmer in the white. Fulmer starts out playing the waiting game strategy that uh, served him such good effect against Basilio the last time around. He wants Basilio to come in and lead so that he can counter. And in that first exchange, each fighter got in one good blow. Like rushes, which have become former stock and trade, were noticeably absent in his previous and successful fight against Basilio, and thus far tonight, he hasn't been storming in there either. Inside, uh, Basilio got a nice left hand chop to the chin with a minute to go now in round number one and takes a very hard right to the midsection and almost doubled him over. Gene Fulman slammed the right hand deep into the midsection of Basilio and that one hurt. Loving away at the face of Basilio. We have 30 seconds to go now in round number one. Tremendous right hand shot to the body landed by Basilio, or by Fulmer, shook up Basilio just moments ago. Fulmer still playing his waiting game, popping out with an occasional jab. Ten seconds left in the first round, but not rushing Basilio at all. Carmen is going to have to come to him. Good shots by Fulmer. Jim Jean Fulmer defending in the white trunks against Carmen Basilio.
Well, remember, the little reach advantage on Vasilio is keeping that left jab, and it's punishing one, popping out there at the face of Carmen. A little smile goes over Vasilio's face after that uh, former miss. Homer almost had his self-discipline get away from him there and uh, started to rush in. And Basilio, I think, is hopeful that that may occur. And that popping jab is scoring points for Homer. And at the same time, giving Basilio the toughest kind of a fight he has to make. Came in for this fight at 59 and a quarter. Basilio at 56 and a half. Solid right hand shot bangs on the jaw of Carmen. He played back, but that was a cruncher. One minute to go. Round number two. seconds left in round two. And Basilio got in his first real good punch of the fight. A good right hand shot and that left hook had sting on it too. Both punches banging to the chin of Fulmer. Basilio does his first important scoring of the fight with 10 seconds to go now in the second round. the end of round number two and here is Carmen Basilio heading back to his corner Carmen Basilio who has been knocked out only once and that only time at the hands of his opponent tonight Gene Fulmer KOing him in the 14th round in their fight for the NBA middleweight title last August by Carmen Basilio as he got it just around the defending glove of Fulmer to connect with the chin. for the rib cage by Fulmer. Those hurt. Basilio gets him back in there. A good exchange as both fighters come through with scoring punches. A 
slight scratch on the nose of uh, Gene Fulmer with a minute to go here in the fourth round. Second clip, fourth round. There's the end of round number four, and this is Gene Fulmer going back to his corner here in Dirks Field, the baseball park in Salt Lake City, where we're bringing you this outdoor attraction for the Middleweight Championship. Fifth round. Homer, after uh, seeing Basilio slip two jab and duck down to get under them, brought up an uppercut that uh, landed on the face of Carmen. just uh, below the lower lip, unless it's a smear. More scratch than a cut. And he popped that punishing jab into the face of Basilio. Basilio's face has been thoroughly reddened by that jab. It's a strong one. Basilio's at the disadvantage here because uh, he's a little short in the reach department against Fulmer. Seconds left in the fifth round. Again, that solid right hand shot by Fulmer to the ribs, and Basilio in the flurry, puts in with a right hand to the chin. Ten seconds to go in the fifth round. himself much in restraint tonight. He has not been rushing in on uh, Fulmer and is uh, apparently intent on trying to get Fulmer to revert to his old charging style, a style that uh, Basilio particularly dotes upon. And Basilio in his slugging match, if he can get uh, Fulmer to make it one, he's a pretty fearsome opponent. Thus far, Fulmer has uh, been fighting his fight, fighting it carefully particularly taking uh, advantage of the edge he has in the jabbing attack.
applied the pressure and uh, doubled Fulmer back over the ropes, which brought a few cries of objection from ringsiders. Right eye of Carmen Basilio's has been cut. One minute to go, round number six. Not too bad a cut yet. And Gene's left eye has been cut and cut much more uh, noticeably. A pretty bad cut on Gene Fulmer's left eye. like a slash about three quarters of an inch long in the eyebrow out toward the left corner of the eye. 30 seconds to go now. Round number six. Ten seconds to go. Round six. to both corners, apparently uh, talking to the fighters about uh, roughhouse non-boxing tactics because he got an argument out of Basilio. Fulmer said nothing. Both fighters having a little trouble with this canvas tonight as uh, every now and then their feet get out from under them. I can assure you there's been plenty of rousing on it because there's a pretty good wind blowing out here and it's blowing in our direction. Every now and then a little gust comes through and blows some more on it. Ooh, again, he skidded the ring and uh, the silly old asked to have him put some more rosin on the ring. to go. Round number seconds left in the eighth round. Here's 
the Philly are going back to his corner. The referee, Pete Giacomo, goes over there with him. And uh, here's Carmen's complaints about uh, lack of rousing on the ring and rough house from Fulmer. But there was no uh, mistaking that sizzling left hook that sent Carmen spinning literally head over heels as he turned a backward somersault. A count of two was told off by the knockdown timekeeper, but he was uh, up again as Basilio went flying right at the end of the eighth round. left-handed Basilio banged into the nose of Fulmer. Otherwise, he had the punches blocked in that exchange along the ropes. said something to Fulmer, but the words didn't get this far. One minute to go now in round nine. seconds, ninth round. Park at Salt Lake City, Utah. Talking with uh, referee Pete Giacoma between rounds, that head over heels flip flop that Basilio took on the business end of the left hook from Fulmer, he did not score as a knockdown. He did not score it as a knockdown. <laughs>
quick move by uh, Fulmer. And the left in the midsection of the Soviet as he came back quickly. suddenly made one of his rushing moves, which has been uh, absent in his strategy tonight. 30 seconds to go now in this 10th round. But he came in and caught Basilio by surprise again as he scored with it. Coming back to his corner. Gene Fulmer uh, had his left eye cut slightly in the sixth round and his nose bloodied in the seventh. But uh, both signs of damage have been obliterated by his cornermen. And the uh, cut suffered by each fighter have given no indication of being reopened or enlarged upon in the rounds following their occurrence. to the 11th round. 15 rounds, the scheduled distance for this one. Both fighters in fine physical condition. Neither one has been uh, close to being a knockout victim tonight. They've take, taken what the other has to offer, and the offerings have on occasion been pretty good. A curious array of welts on the left shoulder of Carmen Basilio uh, look almost like scratches, just a, a bruise, a series of bruises all in a row. And a solid right hand shot by Fulmer came in on the temple of Carmen. side of his glove collided with uh, Basilio's ear. now beginning to come to Basilio a little bit more. 30 seconds left in the 11th round. Basilio bleeding at the nose. Ten seconds left, round 11.
caught Carmen spinning around and landed a good left and right in that exchange. finish him off as he piles into Facilio, but Facilio grabs and holds, trying to stay inside. The heaviest power of Fulmer's punches. The cut over the left eye of Facilio has been reopened. One minute left. Round number 12. Jacoma has to literally fling Carmen Basilio away from former to break up the holding. <laughs> 30 seconds left, round number 12. Ooh, and a solid right hand to the whip. Again, almost doubled Basilio over. And Basilio now is complaining to the referee, and as he takes his eyes off Fulmer, Fulmer is back to the attack. Ten seconds left, Basilio will make the round, and the referee is stopping the fight. He will not make the round as the referee stops the fight, and Basilio is in sense. The fight is stopped. Here in the 12th round, as Fulmer was bullying, wrestling, punching Basilio around the ring, referee Pete Giacoma stepped in just as 10, the final 10 seconds were coming along to stop the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The winner, by a technical knockout, Two minutes, two minutes and 54 seconds of the 12th round. The winner and still middleweight champion of the world, Gene Fulmer. <laughs> <laughs>